Are you wondering if mulch is worth the investment in your new vegetable garden and you haven't decided if you want to place it or not? You came to the right place because in this video I will tell you 5 reasons why organic mulch is great to save you time and money when starting a new vegetable garden. One of my main concerns when I started my small garden quest this year was if I would have enough time to combat the weeds in my garden especially because I use topsoil as the main soil of my raised bed garden and almost everybody pointed out the possibility of the ticking bump in my soil, the wheat seeds that were dormant. But luckily for me, I found out a lot of suggestions pointing out how great mulch is. And as the season goes on, I'm happy that I followed those suggestions and bought few bags of finely chopped inexpensive wood chips. And now I want to share my experience and encourage you to use mulch too, because it's simply the best. So without further ado, let's jump into the main content. The first reason to use organic mulch when starting a vegetable garden is that the mulch is like a blanket that covers the soil. Imagine all the weeds that are buried under the soil that are waiting for the appropriate time to sprout. By covering the soil with a mulch blanket, the seeds won't get the signal to sprout. Or if they do sprout, they will use all their energy to find their way out of the thick mulch. So the few that will manage to come out, you will have no problem to pull them and throw them into the compost bin. You can see that my 3 weeks old fall garden raised bed has few weeds and I managed to clean them up in just under 4 minutes. But I didn't mulch it perfectly like here in the corner, where I didn't mulch it up to the edge, so some weeds have sprouted out of the soil. But luckily, this is just a small area. Imagine if this would be the whole bed, I will spend probably half an hour trying to clean it up. And with less weeds in your raised bed, your plants will have less competition, thus more nutrients for themselves. In other words, you won't need to worry that much about fertilizing your soil and thus saving some money and your plants will still grow bigger, stronger and overall healthier. Like my plants, look what a wonderful harvest I had so far and the garden is still producing. Tomatoes, zucchini, cucumbers, eggplants and more. Mulch also decomposes over time in the soil, releasing even more nutrients for your plants. What I call a win-win situation. Less weeds in your garden also means less weed seeds for the future seasons and over time your garden will be cleared from almost all weed seeds that are dormant right now. The mulch blanket also regulates the soil temperature, warming it into the autumn and cooling it into the summer. The warmth comes like from a blanket protecting the soil from the cold air and the cooling effect from some another property of the mulch that is the second reason I suggest you to use it. Organic mulch has splendid water retention properties. All the organic bits and pieces retain moisture like a sponge. Here you can see how a section that is not covered with mulch is starting to dry out even if we had some rain showers the previous day. On the other hand, the section that is covered with mulch, it retained all the moisture and it's still nice, soft and moist. And because mulch retains moisture so well, you won't be watering your plants so regularly, giving you more time to enjoy in the garden and saving you money to buy more plants and seeds. One other benefit of having your soil moist the entire time is that your plants won't go throughout many shocks over the year, so they will be healthier. One other factor tied to water is soil retention in heavy rains. You can see here in my raised bed how over a span of few months the soil compacted for 5 inches or so. But in the mulched area, because of the mulch, the rain didn't flush the top fertile soil away. And this brings me to the third important property of mulch that you need to exploit. Mulch also builds up fertile organic soil. Over the time when mulching, the bottom layer of mulch starts to decompose, releasing all the good nutrients into the soil. And because mulch also prevents the soil water erosion, the fertile soil will stay in place, feeding your plants year after year. But not just water, also the sun can degrade your soil nutrients over the time. But fortunately, the mulch prevents that because it inhibits sun rays hitting the soil. And with 
this you don't need to bring more soil every year nor you need to mend it every year with fertilizers. So over the years your soil will get better and better, amending it with your homegrown compost and mulch it with your favorite mulch. And not only the soil nutrients will improve, but also the soil structure, because mulch degradation attracts earthworms and this brings me to the fourth property of mulching that will help you in your new vegetable garden. Soil compactness. As you can see in this part of my raised bed that hasn't been mulched, the soil is hard like a rock. I can barely scrape it with my bare hands. Imagine sowing some lettuce here. The gentle roots would be able to penetrate this thick soil and would have problems establishing. On the other hand, this part of the same raised bed that has been mulched is still semi-soft. It's not soft like I would like it to be, but this is because this is my first year gardening with heavy clay soil. But still, it's miles better than the soil that hasn't been mulched. And the fifth property that I wanted to talk about is disease prevention. Because there are many fungal diseases in the soil, covering with a thick mulch layer prevents the disease splashing with the rainwater to your plants, infecting them. So if you want to have a better growing organic garden with as little fungicide as possible, cover the soil with mulch because prevention is always better than reaction to a disease. As you can see, mulch has many properties that helps you save money and time in your garden. And not just that, but also improves the overall health in your garden. The soil is healthier, the plants are healthier and producing more fruits than ever. So I hope I inspired you to build a mulch layer for the next season. And the best part is that you can start right now. If you liked the video, give it a like. And if you're a beginner gardener and want to improve your odds when gardening, consider subscribing so you won't miss any tips and tricks from me. And if you're planning to build your garden for the next season, click the video on the screen that will guide you on all the starting steps for your new vegetable garden.